This year at the URI has been very space themed, and so we're making a very special demo film for you today where we're looking at all the fun ex little experiments that they've done aboard the ISS. To recreate a spacey, weightless environment, we took a page out of the astronaut training book and sent Kevin Fong, this year's Christmas lecturer, on a parabolic flight. Parabolic flight can create pockets of weightlessness by going into a free fall mode. And we wanted to look particularly at how water behaves in microgravity. The major force acting on water in microgravity is surface tension. In a drop of water, you have molecules that are being pulled equally in every direction by the molecules that surround them. The water molecules on the surface of the droplet don't have water molecules surrounding them on all sides, and so they're pulled inwards towards the center of the droplet. This imbalance of forces creates an internal pressure that forces the molecules into a shape that has a minimum surface area while maintaining a cohesive surface. This also explains why droplets are round. The spherical shape minimizes the surface tension needed, as described by Laplace's law. The effects of this force on Earth are relatively weak because gravity counteracts it quite strongly. In space, however, surface tension really comes into its own. For the first one, I have this wet towel. So you can see it's quite wet, but when I wring it out, all the water leaves and it's left pretty much dry. But in space, it's a little bit different. You can see Kevin wringing the towel while floating in midair. But the water isn't behaving like we just saw. Instead, it's bunching around his hands, and occasionally small globules break free when he shakes his hands. Without gravity to pull the water downwards, the surface tension keeps water adhering to itself and turns it almost into a gel-like substance that clings to most surfaces. Water is quite special in this regard because it clings very strongly due to its hydrogen bonds. So this second demonstration is an excellent study of fluid forces. What I have here is a beaker filled with water and a ping pong ball floating on top. Now it's pretty obvious that the ping pong ball would be floating because it's filled with air, and air is lighter than water. But the question is, what would happen in microgravity? You might expect that everything would move upwards, but the reality is much cooler. The ping pong ball is covered in a layer of paint that makes it hydrophilic. This means that it's wettable, and so the water wants to creep over the ball. When we remove gravity from the equation, the ball sinks into the water. So as you just saw, water does some incredible things in a weightless, space-like environment. I wish we could have shown you more. For more space-related content, check out our digital advent calendar.